UFC welterweight division matchup. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. If you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 10 wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Hamzat Borsh Chibayev. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Are you ready? All right, so the fight is underway. We'll see how it plays out. It's a big fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weak that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key match. Lee's got his back. That's a big strike right there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Beautiful body kick. Throws the right hand there. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, 
you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Trying to recover full guard there. Flips the guard, lands the right hand. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? No when to hold him. No when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. What a punch. Tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. Oh, nice jab. Look at him with his hip to that kick. Takedown defense holds up. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch with the clinch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Good punch. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Oh, collar tie. He is all about that left kick to the body. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? Nice straight punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. What a tricky head kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, truly making up the target. Sight to behold. Big kick. So there's that takedown defense on full display yet again. It's held up for him. He does a fantastic job of squaring up his hips, getting his legs back, and understanding not to allow his opponent to get going on his takedown finish. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. Powerful leg kick lands. Just missed with the left there. Oh, beautiful job to get the takedown late in the round. He is about as conditioned as it gets. He's not looking at the clock necessarily. He's not running clock all offense all the time. He knew he was going to wrestle, and he knew he may have to wrestle early and often. And right now, this situation is often because he's, a t he's been attempting takedown over and over again. He finally gets one as we get to the end of the round. Right, 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 right. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. 
Man, these knees are really starting to do a lot of damage to his opponent here tonight. And there's another one for good measure. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was gonna do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was gonna go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. Oh, cash money with that left-hand counter. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. That's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nice knee to the midsection there. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, high level takedown defense there. He continues to stuff every takedown attempt throughout this round. Punch to the body. No good, it's blocked. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. He loaded up there on that high kick. Three minutes now. Oh, no. oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. A lot of top pressure being applied here. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Oh! Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Nicely done. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week too. <laughs> All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Single collar tie now. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. 20 seconds left. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Ten minutes in the books. No more, no more, no more, no more. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, I mean, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, 
And eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next good. round gets good. underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. It's not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world the UFC. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount, and they rush. They get nervous. They're like, oh, my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound from very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. All right, so he catches, oh, he catches the right here, and now he goes for the takedown, it's there. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Now connects with a right. He's got the ground and pound going now. All right, side control now. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. Solid strike on the ground. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. The ground and pound has been there all night. and pound strike is true. Short time now in the round. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. with which to work, 30 seconds to go in the round. 
20 seconds to go. Lands with the ground and pound. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so the round is over, and the fighter's eye is something that we're gonna keep an eye on, no pun intended here. It's starting to swell pretty badly. It hasn't swollen shut, but if it does, they'll bring the doctor in. That is a nasty, nasty swelling that he's dealing with here. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays, and if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. Right, you ready? You ready? Let's go, fight! Look at him! lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got a hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Lee's eye is starting to swell shut. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Grounded pound strike here. Oh man, this grounded pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, the ground and pound is there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Under three minutes remain in round four. Grounded pound strike is good. Under two minutes to go in the round. Ground and pound strike there now. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. He's tough as it gets, but that eye is downright nasty at this point in time. And you've got to wonder, given all the swelling, if that might even be a fractured orbital. Not good for Lim. Lands the ground and pound strike. Push, push, push. Get free. Oh. 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 
45 seconds remain in the round. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down the opponent. Better. That is it. Oh, and there comes the stoppage. Goodness, what a fight. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight. Just before the end of that round, a huge shot that drops his opponent and ultimately spells the end of the fight. Referee jumps in there furiously to stop the fight. That is a crazy, crazy knockout just at the end of the round. decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 43 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Hobbs and Bors Kamada! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.